Hey guys, welcome back to Codon Box Automation Lab. This is Shoreful. So in this lecture, we're going to see one of the Jenkins error. It's happened when you want to run your uh, your project, maybe in project through the Jenkins. So here is my Jenkins account, and you can see I have a couple of jobs over here. One of the job is Maven Batch 25th. So over here, let's go to my this one, and I will show you the exact error you can uh, encounter. So if I go there, you can see I will go one of my old build so that I can show you exactly the error. So assume that you have a uh, job in your Jenkins, uh, which is the Ma it's a Maven based on Maven, and uh, you know uh, the project's Maven. And uh, after you run through your Jenkins, you you can find this kind of error. You can see the the error. It's over here. Uh, mostly you can see. You can see that to see full stack, you know, a trace of error. So this is one kind of error. The main error is over here. You can see it's called fail to execute goal, you know, ORG Apache Maven plugin Maven compiler. This is uh, this is one of the error. You can search with this, and there is a few more clue over here. You can see on your uh, if you see, when you see your compilation error, uh, this is the error has happened. It's over here. This is my you know the base class where I have uh, you know my uh, prerequisite all the uh, all the driver initialize everything's up there about the, the selenium job for selenium project but you can see this the uh, the, the error is saying this org test engine annotation does not exist so it's not finding the test engine annotation so you know in my base class just to give you a over a high level about my base class in my base class you know I have driver initialization method as well as uh, 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 tear down method as a before method annotation and also after method annotation so what's it saying you know they're saying that they are not that when you run the project through the Jenkins Jenkins is not finding the test engine annotation it means you know it's not able to find all the method which is using different annotation like before method or after method you know is not able to find it it means you know in testing uh, Jenkins is not able to trigger able to recognize the testing framework so that's why you know those related method with the using the uh, testing generation is not able to recognize it's not able to run even so that's why it's failing so you know what would be the the result so to uh, you know resolve this kind of problem so before we go to the re uh, there's another things like you know the same project if you run from if you run from your your Eclipse so here is my project you can see this is my project you know the Maven batch 25th and this is my uh, pom.xml file and it has you can see this uh, source to main Java and test Java so here is in test Java I have uh, two test cases right so in and home page one test cases and login page another one home page I have I can see I have let me open that just give you a very, very overall high level idea so this is a home page home page I have uh, three test uh, uh, method one is over here this is another one and this is another one and the login uh, page class I have another one test cases so total four test cases so the same project if I run from uh, from my Eclipse say so here is my POM reduction file let's run it let's run it and then uh, let's see what happened so if I run from from the Eclipse it's running fine there is no issue there is no uh, build fail nothing you can see states is started already You can see the test here is a you can see test is started so this is the first test you can see it's automatically invoke the browser it's uh, maximize it the first test is done and then it's closed this is the second test because each each and every my test is uh, independent so there's no dependency so you know it will open for each and every uh, test cases it will do the job and it will close it because I have a teardown method after uh, as an after annotation 
this is the third test cases and this is the fourth one the last one now I'm not showing you the details test cases just want to show you explain you the the error you can encounter uh, when you run a Maven project through your Jenkins so this is the fourth te test cases just a login test okay so you can see in my Eclipse you can see Eclipse it's my you know total test case run four no failure no error nothing you know so this is the one and so the build success everything looks good so the same project the maven batch 25th if i go to my as i've shown you uh, my uh, jenkins uh, account here is my jenkins account so it's the same project you know uh, for the same project i create a job i give the same name maven batch 25th and then when i run it, it it's find this kind of error as you've seen like it's it shows you the package over here the test engine annotation does not exist so it means you know it's when you run through the Jenkins it not able to recognize test engine so since it's not able to recognize so test engine plugin is missing okay so when it's it's run to execute it it's it's not finding the test engine or uh, the plugin so since test engine plugin is unrecognized that's why it's not able to trigger all the method related with you know uh, before method after method right so it's my which is the before method and after method both method are in my base class so it means it's not able to trigger the base class so if the base class doesn't trigger it means you know it will not execute the driver initialization all those things so ultimately it should fail so that's why it's failing okay so the com compiler maven compiler is not able to even execute that's the the issue so we'll see how we can you know resolve that kind of issue and what is the root cause also for this kind of issues okay this is it's kind of simple solution but it's kind of a little bit tricky to find it okay okay guys to, res to resolve our issue which is the Jenkin you know the error was a ORG test and generation issue does not exist that issue we have seen that to resolve that you know we found I found a solution so in our uh, website codeandboxautomationlab.com if you go up there you can find you know uh, the Jenkin issues so if you go Jenkin error up there you will find there's a number of uh, solution up there okay so one of the solution is this this is the one okay um, the ORG test and generation does not you know exist so the the solution is that you know we have to remove you know in our depend in our test engine uh, pom.xml file in our pom.xml file even though we have a test engine dependency right and then over here there is a scope is test so we have to remove the scope as a test the reason why uh, we found I found that that it is like when you use test as in a scope and we, we run our pom.xml file through the Jenkin that time it treated as a um, uh, as a J unit annotation not test ng that's why it doesn't find the test ng as a result it doesn't find any one of the annotations even though when you run your pom.xml file from Eclipse it's running fine because in your Eclipse you know we have all the annotation everything's working fine but when you when we run from the Jenkins so je that time Jenkins does not able to trigger the test ng plugin because when it's triggered at the pom.xml file and it's for in pom.xml file we have a test ng um, dependency but since we have the scope is a test because of the test you know this test ng annotation this test ng you know does not trigger does not trade by the Jenkins it trade as a J unit so to resolve that issue we have to remove this scope from test ng dependency so you know uh, let me go to let me go to my Eclipse so in your Eclipse this is our project so in our project open your pom.xml file and uh, up there you can see go to the dependency tab and here you can find test ng and then you can go to the properties 
and here you know the scope it was before it was a test so change to compile okay then close it okay and go back to your pom.xml file again and make sure that your test engine dependency test ng dependency doesn't have any more scope as the test there's nothing up there and that's what and then you know save your project and update your project and that's what the you know advice you can see this is the one so dependency remove this test scope and here is the steps fixed in eclipse okay so this is this is what i have just did okay so now if you run your project let's go to your project um, so back to project and here is the, the project let's run the project okay so go to there okay so let me log in again okay uh, after I log in here is my the project and then you know click on build now so you can see the build is uh, going on over here And you can open the console also just open console you can see the test already on your console you can see the test already started you can see over here soon you will see there is a this is here is a you know uh, it started to invoke the browser which is started so since I have a multiple windows so it's uh, the uh, the browser is opening on my another window so I'm dragging over here so that you can see it so the first test case is done you will see this uh, the another one will come here we go this is the second one Okay, next is the third one. And the last is the fourth one. okay I can see the result over here you can see all the result the test run for test run no failure no error no escape you can see build success okay so you can see totally it took two minutes uh, uh, two seconds you can see all of them you know the finished finally finished as a success this is the result in testing JXML result you can find your result over here if you go up here we can see uh, go to go to your uh, should be over here go to your status you can see over here go to after you go to the, your status you can see test result no failure you know you can see over here this is the the project right and this is the package and then in this package you will find there is a two test classes and this one the home page test you will find there is a three test uh, cases right and you can see over here the duration for each and the status for each and if you go back back to your other ones is a login test case so in this login class it will have only one test case it took 7.5 seconds and it's passed all of them you know if you click on test result it's it will bring you to the same thing okay so that's the way you know you you can run you can check your result everything's okay so this is the bill artifact so that's the total you know your pom.xml file snapshot you can you can see okay